guys, it's me, Nikolai, the ABA2 here. Thank you for all the uh, followers on Instagram, by the way. Really, really uh, appreciate it. And I also hope these Instagram followers would subscribe, like, and watch until the end of, uh, from my videos. And sorry if I'm not posting really much uh, because uh, I'm going to school a lot and, you know, right now in a big quarantine and now I can have more chances of posting more videos and stuff pretty much and today we'll be starting to review my uh airport which is Sheremetyevo International Airport which I mean it's not as big as we thought it's uh because uh I have a very small space here and yeah maybe I'll just expand more space somewhere and yeah let's start why not and uh, and now we just start off with this S7, the beautiful S7 A319, which um, is a very nice aircraft. I really do agree. The green is like amazing. I really love the green uh, livery. <sighs> and basically, yeah, it's now boarding to some mile with uh, about 56 passengers. I know that's very little because of a low-cost airline in Russia, but they really do use it. Next up, we have uh, an Air Force F-37-800, which is now boarding to Dubai DXB with 116 passengers on board and added first class um, or more business class seats. Not really first class, but more business class seats on board the aircraft. And next up, we have the Beautiful, beautiful A320, which is now boarding to Sofia, uh, Bulgaria, uh, SOF, which is uh, Sofia International Airport in Bulgaria, and boarding with uh, um, about 136 passengers on board. And next up, we have this legendary aircraft, which is 737-500, I think. I um, actually could be wrong. So just um, uh, remind me if I got it wrong, just tell me, and I'm very sorry if I did. And this aircraft is actually retired, just uh, cleaning the aircraft and uh, getting it ready for some flights and all those other stuff, basically last flights and all those other stuff, but will be also active in the old times if there is any uh, aircraft which you cannot use. And it's now uh, could be cleaning and maintaining the aircraft, not really boarding any passengers. If you wonder why is there the bus, it's just for the cleaners and the maintaining staff to maintain the aircraft. Mm -hmm. And next up, we have this legendary Antonov 22 next to the 737, which is now boarding to all the way to Irkutsk in, uh, in eastern Russia next to Yakutsk which is about um, 3,000 kilometers away. I'm not really sure um, how it goes, but yeah. And it's boarding um, about 27 passengers and about uh, 1,000 kilograms of cargo, boarding like um, all those um, metal and all those oil and uh, just uh, to reconstruct the city and yeah, make it more modern. And over here, we have an Emirates Airlines just preparing to take off to Dubai, DXB, just preparing with the um, uh, Paris football team and just preparing to fly to Dubai. And it just had its match here and uh, they won. It was really, really a very nice match and really took uh, a mean time to actually uh, to stay here and this aircraft actually stayed here for four days because it had two matches because one actual match got cancelled uh, due to no like uh, coronavirus and all the stuff and now it had its match and good thing it had um, one match of course and um, yeah the football team stayed here and luxury hotel and yeah and next to it, on in back, 
we have an Aeroflot A330 of uh, 200 or 300, actually I don't know. And as you can see, its wingtips are actually kind of broken. So it's just going there to maintain the aircraft, clean the aircraft, and making it new. And as you can uh, know, as you know, the new Aeroflot A350-900 just came out. And I'm very, very surprised and I'm very, very, very um, ready if they actually get a Herpa or Germany Jets um, or a Herpa and, or Germany Jets aircraft A350 with a new livery. It would just be amazing or I can customize it myself, but customizing it isn't as an easy job. And yeah, and next up we have this little, little aircraft, the Aeroflot. Uh, it was called an uh, Yoshin, actually? I don't know. Kind of forgot the uh, um, name of the aircraft, but I really know how it looks. Or, but I just forgot the name, that's all. And this aircraft is just retired, and people can now uh, just explore to it. There's like an airline museum in, to the, uh, in this airport. Like, literally, there is an airline museum. <laughs> you can visit us. <laughs> And now we're going off to the very, very big airplanes now. And we have a couple more to go. I know maybe this video will be long. Who knows? We'll start off with the Korean Air, uh, which is now boarding to Seoul uh, in South Korea with um, a 9 hour and 38 minute flight uh, to there with an A380, 267 passengers on board. And next to it, we have an American Airlines, a 777-200, um, which is now boarding, just landed actually from, uh, just landed from New York, JFK, and really surprising, they were all passengers who were safe, and actually it was the last flight. And now all flights are cancelled until its last flight going back to the United States as we're now stopping them to fly over here as um united states say officials say now uh, we can't uh, send any more flights to europe due to the coronavirus and all this stuff and next to it we have a uh, british airways um a320 a neo which is actually a really nice aircraft actually and um it's now uh, just landed from london london glasgow airport not a uh, London area char, but it will fly to London City Airport um, just um, after uh, a few hours. And next to it, we have a Turkish Airlines A330, which is now boarding 165 passengers on board. And as you may know, why would they be such a big aircraft on this like small route? Because, uh, you know, Turkish Airlines sends big aircraft so they can um, like uh, represent their actual aircraft and the short routes they will just decide if they will send um a330s or 777s or um a737s or a320s and basically on some routes like paris and munich and um all those others they just send like a330s all over and yes i thought it would be a good idea to add one and Next to it, we have an Aeroflot A321 NEO, as you may know. Yes, it is a NEO, and it's now uh, boarding to Kazakhstan, or maybe, with a 4 hour and 27 minute flight uh, to there. About um, 93 passengers on board are boarding, and it will be about 4 hours, as I said. And next to it, we have a A320 um, 200. Star Alliance Austrian Airlines and as you may know Austrian Airlines doesn't land in uh, Shermetyevo it lands mostly in Domodedovo uh, which you know I don't really have lots of S7s so basically I don't want to build Domodedovo because it will be too small too big and you don't know, and I know I don't really have the airlines for it and next up we have Rosia Airlines which is a very very rare uh, aircraft which you can actually get from um anywhere i also have the most rarest one which is the uh rosier uh, airlines boeing 777 747 i'm sorry 
which is a very rare aircraft I got for my birthday about one or three months ago. It was a very rare aircraft and I thought, but I didn't know it was existing still for an aircraft for a model airport. And one of my friends who also has a model airport, he's older than me, and he has an old model airport, which is, um, he has a Schermittivo airport, which I once, um, one time I'm gonna see sometime and yeah and it was really wonderful uh, aircraft very wonderful gift from him and next up last but not least no we actually not the last we have a UPS over there one second we have an Aeroflot uh, flight uh, flying to Havana just landed with an 11 hour flight uh, 24 minutes and uh, just outboarded 276 passengers um, on board and just landed. And last but not least, we have the UPS Worldwide Services 767 with one tips, 300. And now this aircraft is now boarding to uh, Charlotte in the uh, United States of America which will be now uh, not the last flight actually it will just deliver all those cargo and stuff most likely medication and also cures and for all those viruses and all stuff and yes most likely masks and very much more and also uh, probably toilet paper maybe that's the most silliest thing I've ever said right now in a video because people are fighting over toilet paper I don't know why and now uh, it will just be delivering those other goodies and all those um, water and um, food and masks and everything they need. Also medication for all people. Um, yes. And we have also a little private jet just waiting there for um, the VIP, the very important person, which will be just traveling all the way to Spain. And pretty much that's all for my Moto Airport. It's a very uh, wonderful, very wonderful airport, which I just uh, built like a couple days ago. It's just um, uh, mind blowing how uh, we reconstructed for like the whole day. Put the, all those other uh, materials and all the stuff. Thank you for, for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe and watch the video until the end. Hope so you did and Yes, uh, more videos will be coming soon and See you in the next video. Bye guys